It's on here. It's good. If you've ever wanted to start your own t-shirt company or maybe just make custom shirts for yourself to wear to your favorite events or family gatherings, boy, do I have something special for you because right here we have an eight in one heat press that's good for t-shirts, hats, plates, mugs, and more. A bunch of stuff, it's crazy. But personally right now, I'm just gonna be using it for t-shirts because custom t-shirts sounds really cool if you could just make them at home right on the fly whenever you want with whatever you want on it. So it comes in this very big box and this thing does have some weight to it. It weighs nearly 50 pounds and it is a little bit hard to maneuver, at least when it's in the box. Maybe outside of the box it's easier. I'm not sure, it could be harder. But I'm really excited to make my first t-shirt. Granted, I've tried to make custom t-shirts before at home with an iron. Not the best experience. Hopefully this actually makes a big difference. Well, would you look at this? It looks like it actually came with a pack of transfer paper in the box. I didn't see that coming. I actually ordered my own and paid extra money for it. This is actually a lot of it too. Ooh, we're gonna be using that. Also inside the box, we have this little bit of a user guide here and it does say all the different things it comes with. We have the heat press machine itself. We have the mug press, the mini mug press, hat press, plate press, and these round ones that are for bottles and stuff. That's pretty cool. Inside the box, we have the hat press accessory. I guess this goes inside of the hat. It's like some foam, I'm not sure. We got a roll of shiny adhesives. Some more foam. <laughs> it looks like this right here is for the cups. So that's actually really cool. We also have the other sizes in here. I'm not gonna be using this, so I don't feel like unassembling all of this. We have another cup press thing. Oh, with the heat press, along with another one of these cup things, I guess. We don't need that. So the actual heat press here, this thing actually has a lot of weight to it. Now, I was expecting this to be a little bit bigger given the size of the box, but I guess it was just that big because of all the accessories that are in it. But, wow, it's still a, I don't have a lot of room here. Let's move it over here. It's still, oh, look at that, it goes all the way around. That's perfect. So no matter where you want to put it, against this wall, against this wall, I don't know when you can spin it the other way. And this is going to be really hot, so don't touch it. But it has handles here, so I guess you can touch the handles. Although I'm going to just be safe and touch it up here. So let's see, you spin it around, go down, lock it into place. As you can see, it's completely locked. It's not going to be moving. Huh, very cool. Now right here up top, we actually have the display that shows your temperature as well as the time. You can set it and adjust everything depending on what you're doing. Very cool. So I mean, for the most part, this is a very simple gadget here oh no, it turns out you have to take this whole top off right here do you have to unbolt this thing you do like right here you have to unscrew this whole thing if you want to attach the one for hats and other things yeah that's sounds like a nightmare i'm not going to be doing that unless i really want to do a hat i just noticed this is loose on here it looks like i could tighten that screw a bit more although it's really hard to get the screwdriver in there because it's in the way so I really wish it wasn't loose like that. <laughs> Alright, so now I got it plugged into power and we're gonna we're gonna wing it, I guess. So I'm gonna use this one for the bottom. Let me just, just move that out of the way. I mean it swivels for a reason. I'm gonna shove this piece inside of the shirt that I'm using. I have a cotton poly blend here. Oh, Gotta make sure it's nice and flat, nice and straight. The paper I got actually did recommend ironing this for five seconds with this to, you know, flatten it out as smooth as possible. And of course, you don't want to have any lint on the shirt that'll stop it from sticking to the fabric. The shirt I'm using is a 65% cotton, 30% polyester, and 5% spandex blend. Nice and flat. <laughs> I know I saw some rulers that'll let you exactly align the center, but I'm just eyeballing this. And then I have my printout right here, just a simple black and white design on the paper that I bought for dark shirts. There's different ones for dark and light. Some work for both, some work for inkjet, some work for laser jet, some work for sublimation, different kinds of stuff for different kinds of needs. So this one is a little bit different than the one I've used before with the iron. You actually are supposed to peel off the image. The instructions on this were a little bit complicated. I wasted a piece by printing on the wrong side because the instructions weren't clear. But here we go. Got the image. So I'm gonna just <laughs> throw this on here. I mean, it looks pretty good to me. 
And then it also came with some wax paper to cover it up, you know, so the ink doesn't get onto the iron. Oh, I'm excited, I'm gonna make a shirt! Now, I guess we have to heat it up first, so let me turn this on. It does take a little bit to heat up. It's about one degree per second. And now it passed the temperature. We're at 349. It started beeping right when it hit 338. So we're ready to go. So let's do this. Okay, I pressed mode and now the timer's counting down. It was already under there for at least like 30 seconds. I mean, I guess longer can't hurt, right? Right? I feel like it'd only be better. We'll see if this thing is actually foolproof because I'm a fool and I'm making a t-shirt. Oh, the shirt's gonna be hot when I pull it out too. Be careful touching the actual shirt. Four seconds to go. Two, one, and it's done. Okay, so now it's beeping. Whoa, you see that smoke? That's good, right? Ooh, it smells like fire. Okay, so you know what? Let me be safe here, because I'm sure we're done. I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna unplug it. <laughs> Let it cool down, because I'm actually afraid to grab the shirt out of here. 157 degrees for the actual image. 135 for the shirt, 309 for the actual iron. So it's cooling down, but it's still hot. Ooh. Not too shabby, although it looks like some of the ink melted or something. But that could obviously be the paper's fault. Although, you know what? Putting the shirt on. I think it is straight. It's pretty straight. And it's definitely on there. Now the corner over here could be a little bit better. But yeah, I mean, for the most part, it's on here. It's good. I mean, it actually kind of looks cool. I mean, from a distance, it looks all right. It's kind of like a grimy look. So I guess it worked. The first time I pulled it out of the heat press though, it was a lot more vibrant. And I did see some of the ink melting off, I guess, or the laser ink, the toner, whatever. But for the most part, I mean, it's actually good. I'll actually wear this. Not a bad shirt. Not just because I made it. I wasted a shirt on it. <laughs> but it actually turned out well. The heat press did its job. It's just the paper and the ink. That was the problem. But it's, it's definitely on here very well. It was easy to use once you figure out what to do. Set the temperature. Set the timer. Press go. Even though it doesn't say go, you press the mode button for it to start the timer countdown. It's very simple, and I could definitely recommend it if you can master the art. I recommend sublimation printing, but you can master the art of printing it onto some good quality paper. Then you should be golden and you can make your own shirts at home. See? Foolproof because I did it and it pretty much worked even though I did everything wrong.